perfect. Hello guys, I've done cover dudes all the way from down to doing the WA2000 review. Before I start, a massive thank you for Rated RV2 for dropping his gun countless times to let me review it. That's why it's in this cut up format because we did it over three games because I got kicked once and all these other rubbish. His YouTube is in the description. I'm gonna get straight into the review so I don't bore the people who ate my subs. Main, WA2000 review. To start off a little history about the gun, it's a semi automatic bullpit sniper rifle produced by Carl Weaver HMBH Sports Waven, which is based in West Germany. It was produced from 1982 to 1998 and was used by German police units. It came in three types a 7.26 a by 51mm NATO, a .300 Winchester Magman, and a 7.5 by 55mm Swiss. It had a six round magazine and only 176 were made, so they're extremely rare and expensive. And then the game the stats of the gun are damage 100, portability 43, rate of fire 16, accuracy 98, recoil 64 and the firing mode is semi-automatic. Now since it's my first proper review, I'll tell you, how, tell you guys how I review the, these guns. I go through all the stats one by one, to how good it is in short, medium and long range, I'll say if it has anything you need and then I'll say my overall opinion. First off, damage. The damage on the WA2000 is a very solid one hit kill all the way out the long range. I believe it only tanked me once, unlike the TRG series which is notorious for doing it 9 out of 10. Portability is above average for a sniper rifle and extremely fast but it's much better than the M107 and the M200 8 out of 10. Rate of fire is quite deceiving on this gun. Yes, it is a semi-auto, semi but to me, it has the same fire as the TRG-41. Just the gun stays in scope. But it is noticeably faster because of it. 7.5 out of 10. Accuracy. Near perfect for a sniper rifle, but not perfect enough to make this overpowered. Like I said in, the, in my last video, 9 out of 10. Recoil. Now since this gun is a semi, it is worth to talk about the recoil, which really isn't much if you think about it. Only skips up a um, couple centimeters, or the equal metric, and it isn't near what the M107 has, which is main competitor to this gun. 9.5 out of 10. Firing mode, though the only thing stopping you is the firing mode, which isn't like a normal semi-automatic. Yes, it stays in scope, it acts like a semi, but it doesn't have the spam feature of guns like the SR25 and M39 EMR, where you can fire and fire and fire and it just doesn't stop. Short range, perfect for quick scoping in my mind. As you can see, I get two multi kills in this game by quick scoping, its gun does it perfectly. The only thing stopping it from being the best quick scope gun is the fact that the draw animation is quite slow compared to other sniper rifles, which might get you killed. 8 out of 10. Medium range, this is where the gun excels. It is perfect for medium range and beats nearly every sniper in the game, even NX rare ones, 9.5 out of 10. Long range is where the gun starts to drop off a bit, but there's no means as bad as the L96A1 and such. 8 out of 10. Miscellaneous. The nice suppressor is good for keeping me unnoticed and I really like the jet black paint job. Overall, this is my favourite sniper in the game by far. Just the fact that it combines a semi and a one shot kill sniper rifle together makes this the best overall sniper in the game. A massive 9.5 out of 10 for me. The only reason it didn't get a 10 is the fact that I'm not a big fan of scope. Alright guys, Undercover Dudes out.